morning and welcome. Good early morning and I'm off. And I'm off to the new forest of down the Bewley to my favourite little place um, in the Defender, which I said I was going to sell as soon as I got, but to be honest, I really, really rate this truck and especially for work. I've had it now, oh, I don't know, a couple of months. No, I won't have had it two months. Probably about six or seven weeks, I would think. I should turn that off, sort of here. And it's shown on the Speedo 6,000 miles. So I've definitely. Um, I'll shut that door because it's making funny noise. I've definitely used it and. Let's face it, these things are for using. What a miserable day, honestly. Rain, 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 bank holiday. So what do you do on a day like this? I'll show you what you do on a day like this. You open this door, and you come into a little bit of heaven. A little bit of heaven. Here's the brush. What's in the boxes? Some new globes we've been getting, which I'm gonna show on a different video. Two SO ones which I haven't got. I've got haven't got the, the colours of them. Um uh, so yeah, Bank Holiday the Monday. That's a sign I don't think a lot of you you'll have you stargin, you'll have seen. The little brawl. Um uh, so yeah, I've put the heating on in the, in the museum, central lighting's on, radiators down there, and I think we're going to spend a few hours in here chilling on the couch, and if that doesn't brighten your day up, those globes, I don't know what will, anyway, talking about globes, that Dominion globe there, I've got a little story to tell you. People are always asking us, is this sort of mobilia stuff a good investment? Well, it is and it isn't. It depends. It depends what you want to get out of it. If you want to put some money into something and enjoy it, I would say, yeah, it is. Because when I come in this little museum, all the money in the world doesn't make me smile like this stuff in here. I, I, honestly, and I know you might think, oh, God, that's sad. But it's, it's what I like. I love it. It's, and I probably love it as much, or if not more, than the veteran vintage cars. Um, but I'm sidetracking here. Right. The Dominion Globe, up, oh, oh, up there, there, the blue one there. Three-sided Dominion. I recently put the same Globe in a, a recent auction. And people have said to us afterwards, you could have sold that globe and you could have got more money private. You could have done this, you could have done that. But I didn't. And the reason I didn't do it is because I wanted to do an experiment. I wanted to see where the market is. And the only really true leveller of, of the market is an auction. I've, I've always said that, whether it's cars, bikes... Automobilia. And yes, you might get two collectors in the room and they might go crazy. And I've done it myself. And I've been one of those crazy collectors. But most of the time, that tells you where the market is. Now, that globe up there, I bought oh, six or seven years ago. And I think I paid £3,000 for it six or seven years ago. Well, forget the commission and all that, because it, that doesn't really... What I'm trying to explain doesn't really go into um, into it. That globe there is a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It is the best one I've ever seen. There's no fading on it. There's no tiny chips on the neck. It is as new. Really, really is good. The one I sent to auction 
was a really good club. Probably, I'm going to put my neck out here and say it was a an 8 out of 10. It had a, there were three-sided globe. It had a tiny bit of fading on, on, on one little piece of the, of the Dominion. Just nothing really. And a couple of slight little chips out the neck. But really bright, colourful. It was definitely an eight. So, I guided that globe at the auction at three to four thousand pound, which I thought was a pretty reasonable guide for some something of that quality. Because let's face it, Dominion, Redline, Pratt's high test globes, stuff like that. The top draw, they are the best. You know, unless you're going to go another league and you would go on to, you know, Carlos Colleen or, 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 a, or a, a power hand, you know, I mean, which are mega rare. But top draw, you know, top, top things people want in the collection. Dominion is one of the names. So I guided it at three to four. I had people talk to us who I told I'd consigned it and they said, oh, that globe will go crazy. You know, there's been a long time since we've seen a one. I think it'll do six or seven grand. And I was pretty sceptical. I said, look, I think it'll do the high end of my estimate, which was £4,000. And it did. That's exactly what it made, £4,000. I was very, very happy. I won't disclose what I paid for it, but it was a lot less than that. And I hope the new owner of the globe's very happy because it's a good globe and they don't come on the market that often. And I think... He bought it or she bought it at a very reasonable price, and I think that's the matter price. Right. So, six or seven years ago, 3,000, now 4,000. So, is that a good investment? I'm not sure. £1,000 um, in six or seven years. If you were trying to do it for a living, I think you'd struggle. Uh, and also if you average things up some things are going up and some things are coming down there's a lot of enamel signs out there that I've paid good money for are definitely coming down um, and I, I, I can't really explain it I can't really explain it and the same with globes globes you can't really work it out I've paid a lot of money for two SO globes over there that probably three or four years ago would have been a third of, of what I paid for them. So it's it's a difficult one to it's a difficult one to really to really work out. Is stuff a good investment or is it not a good investment? Me personally, I think it's a good investment because I'm investing in happiness, not just money. You know? I think if you if you were an investor I don't know, go and buy some property, go and buy a house and, and, and it's rock solid, isn't it, you know? But this stuff, it's it's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? Um, I definitely know the price of petrol pumps is dropping um, or dropped. And again, is that because, you know, there isn't a new Brady collector coming out there or, or the collectors that are out there, they've got all the pumps in the collection and you know that that devalues the other ones i don't know i have no idea anyway i'm stop waffling on it's like i say it's bank of the monday it's raining um and i'm going to give you a little tour around of the museum those who haven't seen it i mean most people who, who are my friends are on youtube have seen it this is one of three rooms i've got uh, and then i've got the car showroom up the top um it is becoming difficult to find stuff now, um, really rare stuff. People keep bringing us stuff, but for me not to have it, it's 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 getting difficult. It's it's getting difficult. Once over, I used to go to an auction and I'd have an auction catalogue, and if there was, I don't know, three hundred lots in the automobile sale, I'd probably have fifty ticked, you know, possibilities to buy. Now we go to an automobile sale. And if there's one thing in that sale, that's usually about where I am, one or two things. Um, and I guess that's the same with all collectors when they get a little bit of a bigger collection. 
they they struggle to get quality items. Um, it's always a it's always a problem. I mean, it's not a bad problem, is it really? But it's always a it's always a problem. Um, I had intended to take a car out today. To be honest with you, uh, I was going to take a car out for a test drive, and uh, it's just pants out there, isn't it? Absolutely pants. Typical British bangle of the weather. Um, anyway, I'm gonna short turn the camera around and give you a little tour. Right, we'll start over here with a few globes in the collection. Now these globes here, these square BP ones, I bought a collection off a guy in Whitley Bay. He'd been trying to sell them for a long time. Probably about seven years ago, I think there were six in the collection. I don't like talking about money, but I give him £2,200 or something for them then. And like I say, there was six and, and they were in unused condition. I think there was four that had never been on the pumps. Um, and, th and these things, they are really short of in price. But anyway, let's have a look round. So there's more gloves down there. Oh, there's a the little shell. We all know the story with that one. Nice Dominion, Spur, the other Dominion I was talking about, Red Line, Speedwell, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And this isn't all the globes I've got, I've got others in the collection. Just some of them I haven't got out on display. This is an unusual little thing, it's a, a model of a Ben's motor car and it's actually a working model it has a small hot air engine on the back a little gas tank here and if I turn it on you might be able to hear the gas no well there you are. Uh, I do like the small models but I'm not a massive collector of them um, I do have little cabinets with bits and bobs in um, this is a nice thing, the Dunlop Air Tower, um, came out of a museum in Birmingham, again bought at an auction, KLG Clock, that's another one of my favourite, I've got, I think I've got three of those, um, some more air towers there, this air tower, this is another one of my favourites, Dunlop air tower uh, and water, so it's air and water, and it has a swiveling head, so the whole head swivels round, quite ingenious really. I mean, mammoth steam engines, quite a few little models in there. I used to really collect these priming jugs for a while, I haven't bought any for ages. I need to get these little stationary engines up and fired up as well this year. Coney Island, there's a big story behind that. More signs, most you've seen stuff in here. Uh, the other Aqua car. So I now have two Aqua cars. One's up for sale, which belongs to my friend. Uh, the red one is mine. The Thames van. More signs, are Palmer signs, a lovely sign, it's a favourite of mine, got superb gloss, as is the shell red cabinet sign. Obviously there's different videos on YouTube with, about this little museum, what I have. Um, this is just a short one. Unusual sign I got at Beaulieu Auto Jumble in September, I haven't brought it up yet. Uh, spur five gallon drum pretty rare the brush an American car nice ransom sims and Jeffrey sign over there I'm not a massive massive fan of non-motor and stuff. Um, 
but I do appreciate it. Uh, like I say, no motor. I also collect cycle signs and aeroplanes. I'm a big fan of model aeroplanes, which on another video I'm going to show you. We've got some lovely flying uh, scale models. Mark, my mechanic, is a massive aero modeler. Actually runs um, the Newton Aircliffe Model Club, Flying Club. Um, he's highly involved in that. Well, there you are. There's a little tour. And uh, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Like I say, got loads of stuff planned for this year. Loads of little museums to video. Loads of uh, people's collections who I've, I've been in contact with. And uh, they're quite happy for me to come and film them. Obviously, if anybody's watching this and they'd like me to come and film them, uh, I don't disclose the locations. Um, it's all pretty discreet, really. So, have a happy Easter. Bye bye now. So, we're just in the process of getting this little ramble of deer. It's quite a better car. And uh, we're just going to take it for a little test drive, get the engine warm through. And uh, it's got no brakes, so wish us luck. drive seemed to go okay for a car what 120 years old with no brakes uh, I'm just going to read my postcards I've been sent these collect those postcards from a good friend of mine John if you like this channel or my videos or anything we do please like and subscribe give us a thumbs up uh, follow us on Instagram Facebook it really does help and it makes me want to go out there and make some interesting videos about some interesting cars bye bye now